Trick or treat! Excuse me? Do not step on my cape. It's polyester. It's very fragile. They gave me a freaking toothbrush. Does my breast smell or something? <sighs> Please only take one. Last year, Roxy took two, and then she got hit by a bus. <laughs> Karma. Mom, can you hold this? It's getting so heavy. Uh, she gave me tuna, and now this cat won't stop following me. Mom, hurry up. I heard Mrs. Udalini has full-size candy bars, and they're all gonna be gone by the time we get there. I thought I was an alien. No, I'm clearly Dracula. I told you these were a bad idea. Oh my gosh, I bet I got so much candy. <laughs> That's it. Happy Halloween. I brought candy for everyone. Everybody gets one. And Mia, these go in your mouth, not up your nose. You're not part of Nickelback. For health class today on Halloween, we're gonna do the scariest thing I could think of. We're gonna try to write a monthly budget for two teenagers that just had a newborn baby. Ooh, try to budget in vacation. Amy, no hats allowed. I know the principal's being fun and letting you all wear your costumes, but we still have a dress code at this school. All right, now I'm keeping homework light because I know you all wanna go enjoy the holiday, so it's just gonna be four through 84 evens only factoring polynomials. And I'm gonna give five extra credit points to whoever can guess who my costume is inspired by first. Yeah, baby. No, not RuPaul, close. Yes, Austin Powers. Supposed to be scared of killer clowns? No, try watching a World War II documentary. That's scary, that really happened. Nice costume. <laughs> Can we go faster? We're actually legally not allowed to touch you. Do you see that chainsaw? So there's actually no blade on it. What's in all this fog? This can't be good for your lungs. I like your weapon. Have a good day. Ah! Oh, okay, fine. That one got me. I thought the middle would be safer. You think if they were really trying to immerse you, they'd take the price tags off. You should try the ones where they submerge you in water. That's actually scary. Why couldn't we have just stayed home and watched Hocus Pocus? Things I thought were cheap as a kid and was shocked to find out they're incredibly expensive. Halloween edition. For some brief Halloween costumes, I thought these are like five, ten dollars. They're like eighty dollars. And for what? To dress up like a taco and they're so cheap and polyester like you can't have a heat source within a five mile radius. Otherwise, they will just combust. And I always chose the most obscure characters I wanted to be. I was like, Mom, I want to be Shy Guy from Mario. She's like, they don't have that the party city, honey. And I was so upset. So we have haunted mazes. You seriously pay like thirty dollars to walk through this for all of seven minutes and get scared? Why would I pay for that? I can get the same exact feeling when I open my mail from the credit card company at the end of the month. And I really got too scared after the first jump scare when I was a kid. That I made my brother like take us out immediately. What a way. Finally, with pumpkin patches when I was a kid, I thought these were so fun. I was like, what are the pumpkins? Like $2? They charge like $20 for a pumpkin here for a fruit that's just gonna sit and rot on my doorstep for seven days, or you can sit on a piece of hay on a truck and ride around the farm for $10. It's insane. And the last one I went to said, you can't take a picture unless you're buying something. Like, okay, Tony, I will buy a $1 gorgeous. Please let me take my picture. Not even scary. Like, you'll be fine. Come on. Oh my gosh, all this smoke reminds me of my aunt's house. <laughs> if you don't have to sign a waiver, it's like not scary enough for me. I can give him my mom's therapist number. It looks like he needs it. Oh, you guys want to go on this one? Oh, I might sit out. I don't think it's like scary enough for me. Yeah. Okay, fine. Like, I'll go in, okay? That wasn't even scary. No, I wasn't crying. That was somebody else. That's not even that hard. I could do that. Ah! No, I wasn't even scared. I was joking. The only thing I can't do is clowns because they like totally freak me out. Let's get out of here. Some things that looking back aren't that scary, but really freaked me out as a kid. So we have Bad Case of the Stripes. This is a book about a girl that doesn't eat her lima beans, and then she has like various magical skin rashes, and I was literally convinced as a kid that if I left this book open in my basement at night, it would curse the whole house, and I too would have these crazy rashes if I didn't eat vegetables. So we have this freaky image from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now I realize that this image isn't actually that scary by today's standards, but I do remember at four or five years old running to the back door consistently to look if this creature was coming for me and my family. And finally we have this Nightmare Fuel Ribbon Girl story from the In the Dark books that every third grader loved to bring to the sleep over and I do realize now that there's a lot of inconsistencies in the story but my third grade brain was absolutely terrified that I could fall in love with somebody that's head was not attached to their body trick or treat no I'm not a witch I'm Tanjiro from Demon Slayer duh please only take one one handful run 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 that house is giving out full size candy bars do you think they'll notice if we go back my brother said one time somebody found a needle in their candy yeah, it's so scary. Like, Loveland, Ohio is not safe. Ew, that house is giving out toothbrushes and raisins. Ugh. No, I'm not a witch. Witches don't have swords. I can't believe Rebecca won the costume contest. Yeah, she was the hungry, hungry caterpillar. Like, we're not in first grade anymore. We're in third. Grow up. That lady gave me a handful of Almond Joys. That's not even candy. That's, like, healthy. I ate way too much candy. My stomach hurts so bad.
These are things I thought were cheap as a kid and was shocked to find out they're incredibly expensive. Halloween edition. First we have candy. A bag of Kit Kat and Reese's is $10. What? And when I was a kid, I was like, I'm going to be the house with full size candy bars. Um, Those are $2 a piece for the neighbor's kids that pop one of my tires with a Beyblade. Absolutely not. Sorry, kids, but the $2 bag with 200 dum-dums is looking really good this year. Next up, we have makeup. You have one of two options with this. You can get the $3 Party City oil pastel. It's going to make it look like a three-year-old drool all over you. And it's going to make your face break out like a pepperoni pizza in two days. Or you can spend $80 for all the good stuff that you're only going to use for one night and then gonna sit in your bathroom drawer because you can't throw it away because you spent $80 on it. I just want to look like a spooky skeleton. And finally, we have tombstones, $1,200 for a rock. And I'm gonna need to see ahead of time once it's gonna get written on there because I don't need any here lies Scott. He thought he was funny. And who pays rent on your grave? And if like your credit card expires and you miss too many payments, so you just like dig you up and throw you out? Say hello in your costume. <sighs> Say hello in your costume. Hi, I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Say hello in your costume. <laughs> Say hello in your costume. Hi, I'm Taylor Swift. Say hello in your costume. Hi, it's me, Rapunzel. Best day ever. Hello. Uh, Flynn, always doing the smolder. Say hello in your costume. Sodded. Say hello in your costume. Hello. Say hello in your costume. Hi, I'm Tori. I'm an angel. Say hello in your costume. You want to play? Say hello in your costume. Say hello in your costume. Rookie cop Ivana, how you doing? Say hello in your costume. Hi, I'm Belle. I'm in love with the beast and he's an asshole. He tried to eat me once, but you know, I escaped from the castle. Say hello in your costume. Hello. Trick or treat. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. I'm Super Mario Dodd. This is like an authentic costume. Oh, my brother's not trick or treating tonight. He's gonna go egg houses instead. I know he's so cool. Please only take one. One bowl. One. You're tired and you want to go home? Are you kidding me? There's still an hour left of trick or treating. You're gonna be out of candy by December with that attitude. Oh my God, that house is giving out full size candy bars. Can you imagine being that rich? Oh my God, you got Sour Patch Kids? I'll trade you this banana Laffy Taffy. No, banana's really good. That's a fair trade. Dude, that house is giving out sunflower. Flower seeds. This is not Earth Day. I cannot go to that house. That lady is so scary. I heard last year she was handing out dog doo doo in plastic bags. Ugh. I dare you to go. No, I'm not gonna go. I dare you.